This is a demonstration of a homemade gyroscope. If you'd like to see how I've made the gyroscope, then go straight to my channel or take a look at the video that I've linked to at the end of this. And what I'm trying to show in this video is how gyroscopes are used in inertial guidance systems and what the problem of gimbal lock means. So I'm spinning around in an office chair and of course I can feel a centrifugal acceleration. The problem is, it's impossible to measure whether that's linear or angular if I've just got an accelerometer. And so that's where gyroscopes come in. So let's spin up this gyroscope and do the same thing again. So if we now take the gyroscope and we put the gyroscope into a guidance system, and that guidance system has rotational sensors on the gimbal rings, it should be fairly obvious that you can use the gimbal ring movement to see how the orientation of the guidance system has changed. Of course, just like everything else in life, it's not that simple. Watch what happens when the gimbal rings align. This is called gimbal lock. And when this happens, to all intents and purposes, it's as though the gyroscope is acting on only one set of gimbals. And that, of course, is bad for calculating the guidance data. Now, I've only made this gyroscope to have two sets of gimbals, and a real system would need three, pitch, roll, and yaw. But nonetheless, gimbal lock still remains a problem although it can be eliminated by some clever electronics and a fourth gimbal set. And just to show how counterintuitive gyroscopes are, watch what happens when I push the gyroscope. It moves at 90 degrees to the direction I'm pushing. Very strange. Well, I hope you found this video informative. And as I say, the gyroscope is homemade. So if you're interested in how I've done it, which is basically a lot of amateur foundry work and in my home machine shop, then take a look at the link video. And of course, thanks for watching, and if you have enjoyed it, Please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe.